And joining us ahead of Team USA's semifinal matchup from Finland is Captain and our coworker. That's right, Kendall Coyne. Yeah. yeah, Kendall, what's up? How is it over there? How's everything going? Hey everyone, great to see you. It's been going really well over here. We're excited to head into the semifinals tomorrow against uh, Russia. We've had an awesome trip, a lot of sunshine here in Finland, um, but overall it's been a great tournament so far. Yeah, and you guys uh, handled Russia pretty good in the uh, preliminary round. Uh, don't get overconfident now. <laughs> De definitely not. And when you're when you're playing for a medal, especially in a semifinal game, only three periods are guaranteed for us right now, and we want to make sure it's six by um, giving a full 60 minutes tomorrow night at 1 o'clock local time. Kendall, we know how great you guys are doing. Perennially, you're in the finals, you're winning championships, gold medals, you name it. But how great is it to see? It could be a little bit of a sore point, but it was a tougher game than I thought against Japan. Yeah. The rest of the world's level is really raising in women's sports. Does that excite you? Oh, Brian, it's so exciting. And you talk about the growth. Even in this tournament, we're, we're playing one more game than we're used to. We had a quarterfinal game. And there's 10 teams in the tournament. There's usually eight. Uh, it shows the growth. The United States has not played Japan in 10 years. So that was our first time seeing them. And we tip our hockey helmets to them. They played an, an awesome game. I don't think we respected them as much as we should have going into the game. And uh, it was it was two to nothing at the end of the first period. And I don't think that's um, what any of us expected for sure. So um, to see the growth, to see their development, um, it's so exciting for the future of the game. We know what this tournament is all about on the ice. Obviously, we all, you know, watch the games and fans know that too. But there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. We had the entire team here uh, ahead of this World Championships. What goes on behind the scenes in terms of, like, bonding? What do you guys do? How do you prepare for these games? And, and just kind of give anybody watching sort of insight into what goes on around the tournament. No, oh, there's a lot that goes around. Uh, we're such a family in and out of the rink. We do so many things. There's a nice little mall next to our hotel here. So um, <laughs> we've been hitting that up. We've gone to Helsinki. Um, something that's been really special is a lot of our families have been able to be here. Um, but we do a lot of things around the hotel. We have some puzzlers. We have, um, you know, some readers. We have uh, people who just like to chill and hang out. So we have a, we have a great group of players. And um, I think that's what make us, makes us go on the ice when it's time to, for the puck to drop. All right, it's been a good tournament so far for Team USA. You, you girls have been rolling along. What do you have to do better, would you say, over the semifinal against Russia and then hopefully in a gold medal game? Yeah, one of our, our weaknesses, if we have any, is, has been our starts. We haven't started the best. Um, and so I think, you know, when the puck drops, um, we need to be ready to go and we, we need to get on the board first. And so... Um, that will that will be our goal tomorrow tomorrow night against Russia and coming away with a win because we want to play six more periods of hockey here in Espo. Kendall, you're an elite athlete, certainly in the one percent, a one percent around the world. How do you stay focused? Obviously, everybody's always talking about a Canada-U.S. showdown, but you're not there yet. Mm -hmm. And how do you stay in the moment? I think it's just what I said before. We know only three periods of hockey are guaranteed for us. Um, we didn't have the best game against Japan. Uh, two nights ago. Um, we had a great practice this morning. We're refocused and uh, whether you've been here or not, we're all elite athletes and we're all leaders and we all lead in, in our own way. And um, it's easy to stay focused when you get to represent, represent your country at the highest level. And I think um, we all know it, it's gold or bust. And for us, that, that, that's what we're going for. So um, we focus on Russia tomorrow night and um, we see what happens. And then if Sunday comes, we're focused on whoever we're playing on Sunday. Well, Kendall, we know it's late over there, so we won't take up any more of your time. We appreciate it. Uh, good luck in the semis. And uh, it is playoff time in the NHL. Can we expect you back here at NHL Network when this thing's over? You definitely can. I have a direct <laughs> flight to New York from here hey on Monday. Some, yes. people, some people will do anything to get some time off in the playoffs. Yeah. I mean, come on, Kendall. I mean, we're we here. It's killing me not, not being able to watch the games over here. Oh, I bet. I bet. All right, well, in Finland. Yeah. good luck in the semis, and uh, hopefully we'll be seeing you uh, walk through the door in a That's couple right. of weeks with uh, a gold medal around your neck, perhaps. Thank you, Jackie, EJ, and Brian. Have a great night or day. <laughs> <laughs> it's bedtime. <laughs> afternoon. We'll have a great afternoon. Thank you. <laughs>